How's it going, Rogzalia, and welcome to another Flesh and Blood video. Today, we have the last two boxes of all of those Monarch cases. We're going to be opening up both of these today. These boxes um, were one of the ones that I bought from, or some of the ones that I bought from Team Covenant. Um, once again, we're not going to be doing the intro today, but, you know, if you like the channel, definitely subscribe, definitely check out my Patreon in the description down below, as well as my excellent affiliate links to stores like Channel Fireball, as well as Fab Foundry and Red Riot Games, if you're looking to pick up some flesh and blood product from excellent folks, because they are also, you know, really excellent folks. So, let's, uh, let's get to it. If you have watched this far, we've been having a tally. How many Guardians of the Shadow Realm will I pull? by the end of all of this shenanigans. We have pulled seven so far. We have not opened up any in the last two boxes, so none in this case so far, which is a good sign, but I have a feeling that's not the last we'll see of those. Also, we're gonna be opening up this Crucible of War Pack that my local game store, Going Gaming, Going Gaming gave to me. Um, these have been on fire, dude. We got a cold foil from them, we got a foil Majestic, a Majestic and the other one. Um, these are on fire, and you know what? Let's start off by opening up this pack. We did, we did it at the end, we've done it at the middle. Let's just open it up right now and um, see if we can get there. If if I pull <laughs> if I pull a freaking like Arknight Shard or Shiana or something in here, I'm gonna lose my mind. Most of the, ooh, Vistara, that's a good sign. Most of the Crucible War packs I've opened have been terrible. All right, so nothing super sweet. We have a push forward, but we still have a chance at a Majestic. Mavarian Skies, and uh, boo. So this pack, this is this is your average pack for Crucible of War, though the foil push forward is really nice. All right, so now onto the main event. Monarch, we have not pulled a Legendary from this case yet. Um, and if you've been watching all the way, all through all the videos, you'll know that our first case, God, the, the ceiling on these is much better than normal. Um, you can still crack it like a banana though. You can still crack it, you gotta, just gotta get to work. Um, the first case we opened, not super great. The second case we opened, amazing. This case, not super great so far. So we've gone back to the Eclipse playmat. Um, maybe that'll give us better luck. But uh, yeah, let's get uh, get our zoom in and start opening up some Monarch, dude. Um, I'm really excited. These are my last two first edition box. Well. Not really, I have another first edition box that we're gonna open up for something else. For the Creator Chaos Championship. But these are the last two boxes that I'm gonna be opening up right now for my personal collection. Um, so, I hope they're good, I hope they're good. We have a Talisman of Dowsing. That is not a good start. Not a good start. Um, Ironhide Plate, Tremor, and then an Out Muscle. Alrighty, I'd rather have a Foil Crack Bobble. I'd rather have a Foil Crack Bobble. Even though, I mean, that's literally better than Crack Bobble. Um, still though, crack, at least at least full Crack Bobble, you have the meme potential. But Talisman of Dowsing is just like, disappointing. <laughs> it's just disappointing. Um, we have a Seek Enlightenment. That's pretty good. It's a Foil Common, Ether Iron Weave, Beast Hulk, Rise Above. Beast Hulk was a rare, uh, and then a hatchet. Good old hatchet. All right. So far, not great luck, but man, I have hope. I really, I was really hoping to get another two legendary case. I mean, everyone is, right? But I, I, I want to make my set. I want to get my set of legendaries, and it'd be sweet to open them all. We have a Void Wraith. We have a. Either Donnie Darko Bunnies or Demogorgons, whatever one you'd like. Halo, Soul Harvest, and an Unhallowed Rites. Which would like to get a Foil Soul Harvest, too. And a Foil um, Soul Reaping. I'd rather get the Foil Soul Reaping because Chain's my boy. Um, but, I mean, the Harvest would be good. Just let's, let's go on a nice little Harvest. Harvest the Moon. Harvest your Soul Moon. Alright, anyway. Let's, uh, let's continue. Ghostly Visit's real nice. We have a foil convulsions from the bellows of hell. I think the lighting's a little bit better on this one. Basically what I did in this one over the last video is I just closed <laughs> my blinds. And I think the the lighting, the natural lighting from the window was actually making it worse. Um, it was making the, the foils not shine quite as much. 
but at least this way with my like actual lighting setup um, looks a little bit better because we have my overhead light obviously but I have a really nice tripod light over there or a really nice tripod with a light attached over there and then I have another light over that way we have a foil seeds of agony really like this card so getting foils of it is always good a hooves a rise above and a herald no majestics nothing so far the sadness goes on the stack sadness will it resolve <laughs> will it resolve or will it be countered by the legendary in this pack or a fable uh, is a pretty good card though I, I do like rip the reality uh hooves tremor and a, ooh, there we go at least we got a majestic mark of the beast we have already pulled a extended art mark of the beast which is like freaking 700 dollars that one is not $700. Um, but once again, man, I have faith that this box will be good. I have faith that it'll be good. I know some other people who bought from Team Covenant have been having some, you know, on-fire pulls. So we'll see. We'll see if I get some on-fire pulls. Ooh, beautiful. Spears of Surreality, one of my favorite cards in the set. At least in terms of art. Parable of Humility, really good art on that one too. And Seeping Shadows. Ooh, Urser. Can't wait to summon some Ursers, man. Um, I did pull some, uh, I pulled an Eclipse, and I pulled a Doomsday, so thought we're gonna be summoning some big old demon guys on the channel at some point. I have some gameplay videos lined up, and as soon as I construct my decks, ooh, another foil bolting blade? This is my second uh, foil bolting blade. It's my first duplicate um, majestic foil. We have plow, th actually that's not true. Um, I pulled multiple um, mutated mass as well. All right, well, bolting blade, bolting up the blades. Um, though, in my pre-release kit that I opened, I got a foil bolting blade. I also got a legendary. Just saying, <laughs> just saying. Um, dude, it'll be such a bummer if I if I get another no legendary case. Ooh, beautiful. I love these cards in foil, man. They look so good. Um, Ironhide, Consuming, and a Glisten. Um, yeah. This artist, I forget their name, but we follow each other on Twitter and they're really good. Uh, Eleanor Pitiera, or Eleonor Pitiera. I'm so bad with names, I'm so, I apologize. Um, just look it up. They're great. They have a Twitter. They share their art. Their art is great. Go do it. Look it up, man. I, I love supporting... Flesh and Blood artists, because, you know, I love this game, and I think the art is amazing, and they deserve to be supported. We have a Minoism, followed by Ironhide, Pulping, and a, ooh, Soul Shield. Majestic Soul Shield. That is one that I pulled a lot of. That's probably my fourth or fifth one. I pulled a foil one. Um, is it a good card? Maybe, actually. Maybe. I think it's really good in like a control prism deck, right? So if I if I build a control prism deck, um, definitely want the the soul shields in there. We have rally the rear guard. Hey you guys, stop being lazy. We have writhing beast Hulk. Ah, oh, another terror limb from limb. Um, nice. This is like my fourth one. It's a great card though. Really good. I love. It's like du basically doubles your next attack. Um, I can see brute players. Even like Reinhardt and KO players, especially KO players, really loving that card. I'm not exactly sure how it works with KO's ability, like what gets doubled. I think, hmm, it doesn't actually double. I don't know. It's, it's, oh, no, no, oh, no, oh, my God, no, oh, no way, oh, no way. I take it back. I take everything back. This case is amazing! Team Covenant! Guys! Oh my god! Oh my god, this is my first cold foil fabled! The Great Library of Solana. This is a $4,000 card right now. Oh, oh, oh my god, dude! Dude! This is the single most valuable card I've ever opened up on the channel right now. Um, I've never pulled a 
fabled before. Well, I have. I've never pulled a cold foil fabled. Oh my god, this is an amazing way to end this. Oh my god, I'm shaking, dude. Oh my god. No way. No way. Okay, every time we get something amazing like that, it's like another majestic. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Okay, I take it all back. I take it all back. My luck, even though I'm not pulling the legendaries, it doesn't matter. It do nothing matters. Only, only this beautiful fabled. Oh my god. It was worth it waiting a week to get my boxes. Oh, oh my god. That's unbelievable. Oh my god. All right. All right, we need to continue. <laughs> we need to continue on. This is just the first box. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I remember, what was I talking about? Like doubling cards in Brute um, with the uh, freaking tear limb from limb? Oh my god, I can't even. I can't even think of anything else. We got a Yinti Yanti. This is this is how I feel right now. I'm at, I'm at peace, man. We got the Yin and Yang in balance. I'm at peace. Ebb and fold, seeping shadows rise above. I'm going to text my girlfriend, just like I did when I pulled that cold foil tunic. So I don't have the video on the channel because I didn't film it. it was, I bought a box way back when Flesh and Blood first came out. Um, Arcane Rising wasn't even out yet. Um, I bought a booster box of Alpha Welcome to Wraith on eBay for $70. I got it, opened it up just to myself because I was like, oh, this is fine. I'll just open it up to myself. And I pulled a cold foil tunic and I freaked out and texted my girlfriend and I was like I pulled a $300 card you know at the time that was insane it's still insane you know $300 $300 is a lot right um unless ooh arc like sentinel unless you're like filthy rich and you don't really care about money $300 is a lot of money right um you know that's like groceries for a couple weeks so um I was like freaking out I'm like this is amazing it's beautiful um, I still have that card. It's it's a really, really nice one. Uh, I, I think it can grade very highly. But, <laughs> pulling that, oh my god. Since then, man, I pulled so many like other cold foils, and I have a full set of legendaries. Um, well, well, almost a full set of legend like legendary cold foils. I'm missing a couple. Um, but I have a full set of legendaries just in general. I have, I have at least one of each of them. Um, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's hard... I'm, my brain is all over the place because I'm just thinking about this fable, dude. Um, can you believe it? Can you believe it? On camera, kitchen table TCG. They opened up like a hundred boxes, no fabled. This is like what my sixth, no eight, seventh box. This is my seventh box. Boom, fabled. Not not as many legendaries, but definitely getting the fableds. Oh yeah, I, I've said it. Said I have weird luck, right? Weird luck. This more than makes up for that dud case. More than makes up for that dud case. Um, yeah, dude. So, my game plan... Game plan is still to get all of the uh, legendaries. That card is not getting sold. That card is going to be uh, slabbed up and hidden away. Um, probably won't keep it here because it's worth a lot of money. Though... My house is pretty safe, but still, Seek Horizon and Tremor. You don't want anything happen, you know, your house to catch fire or, you know, whatever. And then, yeah, <laughs> yeah, jeez. So, basically, that ain't gonna stay here for, for very long. So if you're watching this video, um, it might be in like a safety deposit box or something like that. But... Um, yeah, I need to get like a safe man. We have a war tune a herald. I know some like like big collectors Have like just freaking safes just mounted in there. Oh another beacon of victory it's my fourth one. I got a lot of those um, Oh man, okay, so Anyway let's, let's just let's keep going. Let's keep going. What are we? What are we here for? What are we here for? Um, we want the legendaries, obviously, but what about Majestics, right? That's more attainable. We need another Sonata Arconics. I need another Dimensional Crossroads. So those would both be great. We have another Yinti Yanti. Um, so either of those would be fantastic. We have a Phantasmify. I almost put Out Muscle into my common pile. I would not be surprised if there's like a random rare in that common pile. 
comment down below if you did that, if I did that. Uh, though I imagine most of the comments are going to be about that freaking fable that I just pulled. Um, I can't even believe it, dude. I, I thought there was, like, no chance. Like, like I joked about it. I'm like, oh, yeah, it'd be nice to get a fabled. But, like, I didn't actually think I'd get a fabled. I thought I'd get some legendaries because the pull rate on the legendary seems to be pretty good. Um, I mean, pretty good, I mean, like, 33% chance per box. And I'm opening, like, you know, 13 boxes. So, 33% chance of 13 boxes. I'm probably going to open up. I was, like, hoping for maybe six. But... I mean, six is high, right? But that was that was my hope, not expectation, just, just my hope. But that is not the case. But that's fine, because I, I pulled a freaking fabled. I've only actually pulled what two <laughs> legendaries out of these boxes. Oh, oh, oh! It hurts to think about. Oh, mutated mass. Yo, red zone rogue preview card, mutated mass. Go watch the video. I spent a lot of time on that video. I think it's a lot of fun. Oh, I do like a little skit thing on there. Um. And, uh, interesting story about that. So, my Crucible of War preview video, I felt, I did okay, but I, I, I felt that I could do a lot better. Especially after seeing what some of the other creators did. And I was like, you know, for my next one, if they give me a next one, um, cause you know, I never assume, right? Um, Rifted Torment. I, uh, I was like, I, I need to step it up. And so, that's why that one... I put a lot more production value, let's just say. I worked really hard on it. Um, so yeah, you should go watch it if you haven't seen it yet. It was it was fun. So any of the ones I do in the future, I'm going to you know try to step it up and be as good as possible. Because, I mean, that's one of my personal goals, right? I try to get better at this like every day. I don't want to stagnate. And, uh, you know, I, I want to push the channel to be as good as it can be. You know, you know low-key, I want to be the very best, like no one ever was. This is the last pack. This is the last pack for this box. We have one more box. Dude, the hope that we get another legendary is, is actually pretty high. Cause I've seen a lot of people be like, check it out, bro. We've got a legendary and a, a fabled in the same case. Though if we don't have one, I won't be that disappointed. All right, all right, so no legendary in this box. We have a Graveling Growl, Halo um, Majestic. Nah, okay. That's still good. Still good. Still good. Still good. That's the best box I've ever had. Um. Well, I mean, there was also that box where I pulled a legendary as well as the, uh, <laughs> pulled a legendary and a, uh, uh, extended art in the same box. That was pretty close to the god box. Pretty close to the god box. But, I mean, yeah. All right, here we go. Okay. We'll... Put the put this on here, rub it around a little bit, and give give it some of the the luck, man. Some of the the brilliance. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That that's so amazing. Um. Yeah, dude. I can't believe it. All right, all right, all right. Let's let's do it, man. Let's do it. Um, actually, before we start this, let me change the battery real quick. And we're back! Now, my battery's getting really low, and I didn't want it to die, like, halfway through this box opening. So I figured, at the start, let's just, let's just do it. Um, so, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna just do it. Oh, jeez, man. Alright. We have Stony Woot. Oh, dude! Really good way to start off the box! With a Foil Majestic Spill Blood. This card is super good. There you go. There's the foiling on it. Really, really happy with that. We also have another majestic in here. We, we seem you seem to double down. I don't know. Um, all right. Great start. Absolutely fantastic start. Um, foil majestic. And I'm just, you know what, man? I'm just happy. Just happy to open up packs. Um, definitely still need those other three legendaries that I'm missing though. If I could. Pull any of them from this box. I uh, would like to get the Illusionist boots. That that would be that would be just great, just great. Uh, Bounding Demagon, Hooves, Plow Through, and a Valiant Thrust. That would be great. But I mean, guys, guys, just go. Oh, come on, dude. Oh man. Ah, oh, gotta get the heart rate down. <laughs> gotta get the heart rate down. 
Oh man, I, I recorded this pretty early in the day too, so I'm just like in this room completely like super sweaty because it's so hot in here with this amazing amazing card like one of how many like how many do you think they printed of these 500 a thousand of them oh man i imagine the monarch print runs much higher than previous first edition sets like just gonna throw that out here i'm not that kind of guy speculator print run you know market guy that's not what i'm about but if I had to guess, I imagine the Monarch print runs much higher. Ooh, Blood Tribute. Beautiful. Really, really love the Blood Tribute. Hooves. Uh, Battlefield Blitz. Pulping. Just explode that. Explode that cheetah. When you see a cheetah, just gotta explode it. I was, um, I was on an episode of Drinking with Bronson, and it was like three hours long, dude. It was really long. So if you didn't watch the whole thing, then, you know, I don't blame you. But uh, at one point we talk about like how in the Savage Lands they just go around like punching all the wildlife. We have a blinding beam. Like Reinar just walks around. And he's like, "Oh, there's a cheetah! Just boom, punch it! Out muscle." He's not even hunting. He's not even hunting. He's like the apex predator. But I mean, he's not even hunting, man. He's just doing it for fun. I'm mean, not even for fun. He just sees it and he just like, "Yo, there's a cheetah." I have this urge to punch it as hard as I can. And then he does it. Sometimes with a big tree. Sometimes with a big tree. What? Dude, okay. Real talk. Real, fa real fab talk. Yeah, this is a good example of it. Real fab talk. What is Reinhardt? Is he an orc? Like, I've heard people say, like, oh, he's an orc. There's orcs in flesh and blood. But is he an orc, though? Like, what is he? Have they said that in the lore? Lore buffs. Dead summer art. If you're watching this, probably not. But if you're watching this... Um, it, what, what's Reinhardt, dude? I gotta know. Inquiring minds know. Is Reinhardt an orc? I don't know. He may, he might be. We have a Herald of Triumph. Dude, this case feels like a triumph. Time skippers. Followed by, oh, a Hexagore. <laughs> Yo, I'll take it. I will take it. This is my second Hexagore. Um, I still need the freaking Raiden Duskbane. So, Raiden Dustbane, obviously. Ob. Obvi. But I also need some more spice. <laughs> I need some some allspice. Um, we have Legendary Riftbind. Nah. Riftbind's a pretty good card, though. We have another Fable. Oh, oh dude! <laughs> Celestial Cataclysm is really good. I'll take it. I got to foil one of those in one of my previous boxes. Um... This box is pretty good so far. All three of the Majestics that I got are, like, real good, dude. So, Sonata Arcanics. Dimensional Crossroads. Uh, I'm sure there's some other ones that I need that I keep forgetting about. Oh, I need the, um, the Angel. Herald of Erudition. I need that one, too. We have an Unworldly Bellow. He's just like, brr. <laughs> brr. Prismatic Shield. Ones I don't want to get. Phantasmoclasm, because I've pulled like six of them. Uh, the freaking Shadow Beast, because I pulled seven of them. Um, those are some of the... Uh, Mutated Mass, I pulled like five or six of those too. Man, it's some of the Majestics I just pull so many of. I, I don't know. I don't know. We have... Ooh, Cold Foil Stubby Hammers. Look at those. Look at those hammers. Stubbing away. <laughs> Stubbing away. A uh, friend of the channel, Fab Foundry, uh, were the people who spoiled this one. So, that's nice. That's a nice. We have Dimensional, and then a Plow Through. So, that probably means no no Legendary in this. So, this is probably going to be another no Legendary case, but, I mean, I mean, I mean. <laughs> yeah. I mean, getting the Stubby Hammer is actually pretty good. I think that card's good, and I also think that... Um, I mean, it's not. It's better than getting like an iron hide, basically is what I'm getting at, or a duplicate that I already have, because like I've gotten a couple duplicates before. Um, I would have liked the blood drop brocade, but we have a uh, arcanic crackle. We have Thor, foily, foily Thor, Aether Iron Weave, invigorating, and a parable of humility. Um. All right, I still got hope, man. I still got hope for a legendary. We're gonna be greed. 
full greed mode activated. If you've watched me play Flesh and Blood, you know I like to play greedy. Try to go for as much damage as I can. All about, all about the greed. Who dares wins? So we're going full greed mode. We are going to be rooting for a, le uh, a legendary. Just going to be rooting for it. Ooh, Dimensional Crossroads. Yo, I really needed this one. Yeah. I'm super happy with that. I really like the Majestics we've gotten. Um, getting that extra Hexagore is pretty funny. Um, maybe I'll trade it to someone for a Raiden Dustbane. Um, anyway. Yeah. So, Legendary. What do I need? I well, Basically, any of the other ones. The Valiant Dynamo is the one I want the least, but... I don't care, man. I'll, I will take it. Um, I really need the Illusionist one, and I really need the... Ah! Oh, Tome of Torment! Actually, I really do need the Tome of Torment. Tome of Torment. I think it's my third one now. Hell yeah, dude. This this is really good, man. Even if I don't get anything else... Um, I still got like half a box. But even if I don't get anything else, like... I'm getting all the, I'm getting all the Majestics that I really need, so... That is the goal. That is the goal. Um, but I mean, oh, dude. Spears of Surreality. Beautiful. Ether Iron Weave, another Majestic. Nah, Battlefield Blitz. I actually think the, the Meat Axe is pretty good, too. But I mean, Hexagore is a Hexagore. And, I mean, are you playing Leviah? You're going to be playing that Hexagore. All right. So... What? I mean, like, you've already heard the spiel. You've already heard the spiel. I've been curious to know, like, if you guys have opened this up, what kind of, like, legendary pull rate have you gotten? Is it, like, the same rates that everyone else have, has been saying? Like, is it really, like, one in every, like, three boxes? Because, I don't know, man. It doesn't feel like it. It doesn't feel like it. I've, I've pulled two in 12. That's half. That's half that pull rate. Though I did pull a Fabled, so... still. But the Fabled doesn't count, right? The Fabled is separate from that. So, like, my Legendary pull rate is still really low. Um, we have Dreamweavers, Seek Horizon, and then a... F ah! I was going to say Fabled. I meant Majestic. You know what I meant. I have Fabled on the brain. <laughs> fabled on the brain. I don't even know what I'm going to title this video, man. Like... I'm gonna. I, I got a title. It's something that it'll probably give it away. But I, you, you can't just be like Monarch box opening number six, like, and then you pull a freaking fabled. That's not how it works. We have a Warmonger's Recital, a uh, Prismatic, and then an Ode to Hroth. Hroth. Um, fear my Hroth. Yeah. <laughs> um. We got a crack bubble in this one. Crack bubble. Give me luck. Let me pull the illusionist boots. I want the sandals of illusion. We already skipped. We already saw the howl. Boo. I mean, aru. <laughs> Vexing malice. I don't mean boo. I mean aru. Aru. Come on. Um, we still have a few more packs. A few more packs. My Monarch opening experience has been great. I hope yours has been too. I hope you have pulled all of the legendaries that I have not been able to pull. And uh, and it was great, man. It was great. And you were either able to sell them and buy more cards and build the decks you wanted, or you're just going to keep them and, you know, use them or whatever, man. Oh, no! Oh, no! Okay. We are up to eight. Eight Guardians of the Shadow Realm. We had a couple guesses at 10. We had a couple guesses at 11. It's It looks like it's going to be 8. We'll include that CCC box. The, the one that I opened for the Creator Chaos Championship. We'll include that in the total count. Um, but, bro. Um, so, we, we're up to 8. <laughs> at, what do we have here? Oh, jeez, dude. Ah. I thought we were getting another cold foil. Uh, I, like, faked myself out. Totally fake, faked myself out, dude. Uh, you, you tricky. You tricky, tricky boy. Alright, we only have a couple packs left. We're probably not gonna get a, a, a legendary here. Which is fine. I was really hoping to get to finish out the, the set, though, but... I guess I gotta do some legwork. 
which is fine, <laughs> which is fine. Um, anyway, anyway, maybe we'll get another full art. Nah, consuming. We haven't seen one of those in a while. I mean, I hear they're like quite, quite hard to pull, which is, you know, hilarious that I pulled the hardest things to pull in the freaking set, but I can't pull the supposed easy to pull legend. Well, okay. Once again, I am aware of the fact that I pulled two carrion husks in my pre-release. Um, yeah. Alrighty. Legendary. Nah. Warmonger's recital. Boo. Come on, can we at least get a majestic here? Nah. Uh, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. All right, we have six majestics. Like what? Two packs left. All right, guys. We are down to the wire. We are down to the wire. Here we go. Here we go. We have. We're just gonna. We're gonna blaster this one. Blaster this one. This is one of some of our last first edition monarch packs. We need to savor it. We need to savor it. We have common. That's not what we want to see. <laughs> that is not what we want to see. Majestic? No. Okay. Last pack. Last pack. And this will be a no legendary case. I mean, we got the fable. We got the fable. So you can't really complain because the fable is amazing. But two cases with no legendary is insane. Um, yeah, it's just weird. This is the last chance. We might, we might be here. We, we've opened up cases before where we got legendaries in like the last couple packs. With our luck, it'll be a foil guard in the Shadow Realm. All right, Brandish. Oh, we have a Brandish. Do we have a legendary behind them? Oh, it's a Majestic. What is this? Ah, oh, Arclight Sentinel. Okay, you know what? Fine. Fine, I'll take a foil Majestic. I'll take it. It's not a freaking Guardian of the Shadow Realm. I'll take it. Got a stubby hammers. Do we get another majestic here? We did! Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! No! 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 Oh no! Why? Why? Okay, we're up to nine. We're up to nine Guardians of the Shadow Realm. Oh dude, this has been one hell of a ride. This has been absolutely one one hell of a ride. So the legendaries that we did pull from these 12 boxes, we pulled a Doomsday and Eclipse. That's it. Though, I did pull the Carrion Husks from my pre-release packs, and then I did pull these Extended Arts, which are apparently really hard to get. And of course, we pulled the best card in the entire set. The Great Library of Solana. The very first landmark card. And my very first Cold Foil Fabled. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, man. I, it'll be very interesting to tally these all up and see what we get. I'm going to be filming the box opening for the Creator Chaos Championship soon. Maybe we'll get a Legendary in there, man. That's my last hope for a Legendary. Maybe we'll get it in there. You freaking guardians. Seven, we have nine. Nine guardians. Look, I'm just going to grab it. I have them kind of off, sitting off screen here. Look, look, look at this. Look, look, look at this. What, what is this? What? It, this, you know what? This is my reward for this. <laughs> well, if you like the video, then leave a like, comment. Subscribe. I really appreciate it. Maybe check out my Patreon if you'd like to support me and the channel directly. You know, I, I greatly appreciate it. And, um, you know, aid in my quest of becoming the best like no one ever was. <laughs> to pull them is my real test. To play them is my cause. All right. All right. That's enough of, that's enough of that. We'll see you next time for some more Flesh and Blood content. Have a great day, everyone. I, I know I did. I know I did. So see you next time.